Aquarius, how the heck are all of you? Welcome back to JC Tarot if you've been with me before. And for those of you brand new, welcome to my channel. This is your dailies, your quickie dailies. So don't expect a long reading. This is just a checking in with the energies of today and tomorrow and to see where they lie at for you. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. From now on, I'm going to do the dailies like this so that you get them much quicker. I'm still going to do the weeklies or the bi-weeklies as I can get to them for you, which will have the extended continuation on Vimeo like I've always done. So you will be able to dig a lot deeper. There'll be a lot more clarification. But again, this is just your quickie daily. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's still a general reading. Okay, so things always happen with divine timing with tarot. All right, let's go ahead, Aquarius, and get started. Okay, check your moon and rising signs as well. I find sometimes my moon sign resonates for me than my sun sign. I'm still doing the bracelet giveaway. If you're interested in that's completely free to you. I pay the shipping. If you win, I contact you. All you have to do is hit the like button on this video, subscribe, follow me on either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. I have to be able to see your name there. Otherwise, I don't know who you are. I cannot contact you if you're the winner. You have more than one chance to win. I'm definitely giving away several in a month. So take advantage of that. You, It's no cost to you other than you know, subscribing and doing those things. So that would be fantastic. I really, truly thank you for your continued support. Without you, I couldn't do your readings and I really enjoy doing them for you. So let's go ahead and get started. This top deck here is from the 1960s, okay? So I hope you enjoyed as much as I do. The energies on the cards here from 1960s have really been flying out. I've really noticed a major difference. Sometimes six or seven want to come out at a time and I'm like, whoa, spirit, slow down. So definitely the energies are hot on these. These are the Cyril Marchetti as well. I definitely feel the energy with these, but with the older ones, it's amazing. So I've done both for you. All right, so let's see how they tie in. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Ace of, sorry, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Star card. We have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Wands. We have the Ten of Wands again. So double clarification already between two different decks for you. Aquarius, that's amazing, okay? And we have the Palace of Coins. Now, this is exclusive to the Ciro Marchetti deck, and I'll get into that in a minute as we go through. So what I'm seeing right off the bat for you, though, the Ten of Wands definitely strikes me immediately because that tells me that you're at the end of a difficult cycle. So whatever you've been going through, you know, the star card, the 10 of wands, that tells me no matter what else it says here, you have a brand new passionate beginning with the ace of wands. It's looking beautiful. You're moving towards your destined faded path here. You're moving towards your destiny, quite possibly a soulmate here with the ace of wands and the star card. We have Aquarius, Leo, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We have yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So basically we have all the energies here with us today. So this is about celebration coming in. Somebody may be looking in on you or you on them just to kind of keep an eye on each other, um, assuming you have a love interest here with the Ace of Wands, but it doesn't have to be. The Ace of Wands can also signify that you have a creative new beginning to create anything brand new after a difficult period in your life. This is about brand new beginnings overall. It could be love. It could be a new job. It could be a, new ch a birth of a new child, a grandchild. Uh, can be, um, you know, you just came into a lottery or a windfall of money or a new business that you've always wanted to create and you're finally doing that. This is moving away from anything stressful, moving to a place of peace and calm. This can also be indicative with the Six of Swords of travel, moving on, taking a new journey somewhere, okay? But either way, it's moving away from this stressful period and having an absolutely amazing new beginning here. Very passionate, very creative. Again, it can be a new love. And with the Palace of Coins, again, it's exclusive to the Mar Cyril Marchetti deck, that means that you will have enough. You will have enough stability you will have enough um, stability for the future. I feel like you're concentrating on your money and your coins here. Or again, maybe you're going to come into some, some kind of new business or new opportunity that's going to bring in a lot of stability and long-term success. That's what I'm feeling. Again, this looks amazing. Okay, so you may have become clear on something. Um, you know, this is a message of truth coming in quite often, or again, you could just be checking in on somebody or you're, or somebody's checking on you, or maybe you both are, because this is about the truth. Page of Swords is a 
about a message of clarity coming in and truth. So, but this is also three of cups is a celebration, but it can also for some of you be the fact that there was a third party situation and the truth came out, there was clarity and it was a very difficult time, but you're laying down, you're laying down this heavy burden. You're letting go of it and you're moving on to calmer, happier, peaceful time with a brand new awesome opportunities moving towards your soulmate or your destiny could be a new soulmate a new person here so for some of you that may resonate more either way it comes to be that you are moving towards your destiny peace calm a passionate new beginning letting go of anything from the past that was difficult it's going away difficult cycle going away this looks fantastic for you Aquarius this is what I have for you for the energies of today do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe. It costs absolutely nothing to you. I appreciate you being here very much, and I hope your blessings all come true for you. We all deserve happiness when we're putting the work in and we're putting good out there into the universe, and I can see that you have done that, and it's coming back to you now, so that looks great. I thank you again so much for being here. Uh, can Continue to tune in for your weeklies and your bi-weeklies, which, of course, like I said, we'll have the continuation of Vimeo. Everything's in the description box regarding the bracelet giveaway as well. Uh, you can visit shaycee.com to view the bracelets or anything else, a private reading you want if you're interested in that. And thank you so much for the donations. They really, really help to bring you these free bracelet offerings and, and uh, different things I can do for you for your readings, new cards, like these, these really cool 1960s cards. I hope you enjoyed them. Let me know. I want to hear from you. I want to know what's going on with you. Leave me comments. Thank you so much, Aquarius. I wish you an absolutely amazing, fantastic rest of your day. Bye for now.